Good morning, Great LA Trobe. From the WCAT-TV studio, I'm your host, Alexis Knoll. A reminder to students taking AP courses. AP exam registration forms and checks are due in the guidance office today. Attention current juniors, the Pennsylvania Department of Education is pleased to announce that the Pennsylvania Governor's School for the Science, Sciences at Carnegie Mellon University is now accepting applicants for talented high school juniors for the summer of 2022 program. The intensive five-week summer residential program that emphasizes cooperative learning and hands-on laboratory research for high school juniors pursuing careers in science and mathematics. The program offers an enrichment experience in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Accepted applicants will receive a full scholarship to the program. For more details, including dates and application, please see Ms. Hager in the guidance office. The Greater Latro Multimedia Journalism class is working hard to produce the first issue of the High Post. The students are working hard to gather content for the publication. Please check your classroom over the next week to take a look at the stories that are happening here at Greater Latro. We go to Becca Reed for the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. For your local weather report, today there will be a high 51 and a low of 35. On Tuesday, there will be a high 51 and a low of 37. And lastly, on Wednesday, there will be a high 55 and a low of 37. That's all for weather. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Becca. Now through Thursday, November 18th, Student Council is asking each classroom to donate non-perishable food items for the Thanksgiving Basket Service Project. Each teacher has received a list of items needed to supply a Greater Light Trib family in need with a Thanksgiving meal. Please take this opportunity to help those around you. For less than $2, you can give a local family a special meal. Food items will be collected until Thursday, November 18th. Thank you for your generosity each year. Nearly 40 families have been able to receive food baskets for both Thanksgiving and Christmas through this project. In addition, anyone who wants to participate in the Thanksgiving Volleyball Tournament sponsored by the Pep Club should donate at least one item from the Thanksgiving Basket food list to Ms. Houck in C107, Mr. Marker in H107, or Ms. Fry in A4 during Lunch and Learn by November 8th, 17th. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's Adina Peru with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latrobe? It's Monday, November 8th, and cooking up in the main line, we have the cheese lasagna with a side of marinara sauce, garlic breadsticks, and garden green beans. The sandwich options for today are the hamburger, cheeseburger, or chicken patty. The pizza options for today are the homemade plain or pepperoni pizza. In the grab-and-go bar, we have fresh salads, deli hoagies, and green beans. The soup of the day is broccoli and cheese. That's what's cooking. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks, Adina. Students interested in participating in the Forensic Student Congress taking place on November 22nd are invited to stay after school today from 3 to 4 to review the process and prepare speeches. If you are interested in becoming a part of Congress, please see Dr. Bump. Avidum's got your back this winter. Avidum is encouraging students to donate clean, slightly used winter jackets, gloves, mittens, hats, and blankets. Students can drop any of these items off in the boxes in the common area, now through December 31st. If you have any questions, please reach out to Ms. Ryder in the guidance office. We go now to Richard Hillwig for the Wildcats Sports Report. Thanks, Alexis. There will be an open gym for any ninth grade boy wishing to try out for the ninth grade basketball team on Tuesday, November 9th and Wednesday, November 10th from 315 to 430 in the Senior High Auxiliary Gym. If you cannot make it, please see Mr. Pratt in H208. Now here's Ben Hammony with National Sports. Thanks, Richard. Hey, Latrobe. Here's your National Sports Report for today. For the NHL, there will be only three games being played throughout the day. Most notably, the Florida Panthers will battle the New York Rangers at 7 p.m. For my NBA fans, you can tune into the New York Knicks heading to Wells Fargo Center to compete against the Philadelphia 76ers, where tip-off is at 7 p.m. Lastly, week 9 of the NFL will commence as the Chicago Bears will be heading to Heinz Field the battle against the Pittsburgh Steelers at 8.20 p.m. for Monday Night Football. Currently, your 4-3 and three Steelers are a 6-point favorite to the Bears. That's all for sports. Back to you in the studio. We will be back after this message. 9th through 12th grade students interested in trying out for the girls across team in the spring are asked to sign up in the athletic office. More information will follow at a later date regarding preseason information and meetings. Now here is Abby Williams with Wildcat World News.
Good morning, Wildcats. Today in headline news, Facebook said Tuesday it plans to stop using facial recognition software that could automatically recognize people in photos and videos posted on the social network, marking a massive shift for both the tech industry and a, for a company known for collecting vast amounts of data about its billions of users. And canceled flights, packed planes, rising fares, and violent outbursts are the new normal for air travel. Flying is getting worse for both passengers and crews. Staffing shortages are leading to overworked flight crews and most of the canceled flights. Vaccine mandates could lead to even more staffing shortages. Less choice in flights has led to higher ticket prices. And altercations over masks have been the cherry on the top of a miserable year for travel. Those issues will continue well into the holiday season and perhaps they'll get even worse. That's all for Wildcat World News. Now here is Sydney Lidacker with Entertainment News. Thanks, Abby. Today on Entertainment News, Gail Gaddett is to set to star as the Evil Queen in Disney's live-action remake of Snow White. Rachel Zegler will be taking on the role of Snow White. The live-action film will expand the story and the music from the original production. That's all for Entertainment News. Thanks and back to you. Thanks for tuning into this edition of WCATV News. Have a great day, Lightrobe.